morning, everyone. Hold on, I got a mute. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I, had, I had two of those also. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to like, usually I go into another like channel and then I'll mute it and then I'll come back. And I did that, but it didn't work this time. Ah, oh, oh, well, it happens. Hello, hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I have Schreiker with me. Good morning, everyone. T is going to be signing her papers to her new home in like 30 minutes. Her appointment's at 11 o'clock, so she should be arriving there. They drove most of the way last night. They stayed about two hours away from her new house. And then they got up early this morning and we're going to do the last leg and get coffee. And the closing is at 11. So I'm sure she is just tickled pink. She must be so excited. But now the real work starts. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine moving all the stuff she has that far. It was so hard. Like she, she probably has, I mean, I've never seen like completely as, you know, the amount of stuff that she has, but I know that I don't, I had two storage units and it took a long time and a lot of money to move just two miles. Like it cost me, it cost me like $2,000 to move two miles, all my stuff. The yeah, house, I, had, the I had two large ones also, and I took a whole truckload out of one last week and it didn't look like I moved anything out of there. You know, and that was an entire pickup load. So it, they hold a lot of stuff. Those units. Yeah. I mean, I still, I still owe Ben money. Like, so it's more than $2,000. I still haven't paid Ben like for all the help. Ben is like my son, you know, he's, he's, you know, my son's best friend. And, you know, he's, he's, I told him, you know, I said, it's like money in the bank for you, but I still, I, I haven't seen him. I still have to pay him. So it's actually going to be like more than $2,000 by the time I'm done just to move two miles. Yeah. Just to move two miles the 30 foot trailer, the pickup trucks, the fuel, the time, the, you know, Massimo put in a lot of time just because he wanted to help mama. Like, but I, you know, right. paid him for it. Right. You know, and th these kids, you know, it's not like years ago where you could say, Oh, will you come and help me out and I'll buy a case of beer and, you know, throw some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill. Yeah, it doesn't work that way anymore, you guys. <laughs> that was like, that was a thing of the past. People used to do that years ago. That doesn't fly anymore. People want the, <laughs> they want the money. They want the money, honey. So well, those trucks aren't free to operate, so that's understandable. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So let's say good morning, good morning, Christine B. I've already had a nice chat with Christine B. I was telling her. When um when she was here, you guys probably heard the story when she was here. Um, Christine, the trash truck is here right now. I didn't take my trash out last night because there was a lot of trash, a lot of trash, because I've been going through things and discarding things that, you know, if I, if I won't sell it, I'm not going to bring it to you guys. So I've been discarding things that are, you know, broken or stained or whatever, stuff that I wouldn't even like donate to Charmaine to the thrift shop. So when she was here, one of the neighbors was like, now, why would you move all this stuff into the house only to turn around and throw it away? And Christine like looked at me like, what do I say? And so I was on the phone with her this morning having coffee and I'm like, the trash police is walking down the street. She goes, uh oh. I said, well, not really the police, you know, that neighbor <laughs> that questioned the trash because it was two rows deep today. You know, it was like a lot of like, uh, rubber made bins without lids. Cause you know, buying storage units, we get a lot of rubber made bins and I sold a huge stack of them the other day on the Facebook marketplace, which was awesome. But the ones that I threw out today were like, you know, just too, you know, just junky Bad shape. Junky ones. Yeah. So the, there's a lot of trash out there. <laughs> Did you go out and talk to him? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. No. And it was so funny. Cause I said to her, I said to Christine, I said, so the people that own the, the house behind me, I'm not going to call their house a cottage because their house is beautiful. It's more like a house. It's a, it's a modular home, very modern looking. 
and um, they get Amazon deliveries like crazy, like every day. The Amazon driver has a big bin that he takes out of the truck, loads it with their packages, and wow. brings the bin to their house. I don't know what they do with all that stuff. I don't know if they're buying food or what they are. So it was so funny because I was on the phone with Christine. I'm like, Christine, I think I'm Mrs. Kravitz. And she's like, why? And I said, like, I know what's going on in the neighborhood. I, I know that the people behind me got a whole bunch of Amazon boxes. And last week I took all the Amazon boxes that they put in the trash into my shipping room because they're all like perfect size boxes for shipping. And I said, they haven't. They haven't put their boxes out in the trash yet. And I know that they got a lot of deliveries. And no sooner did I get done saying that, the lady comes walking out of the house and two big boxes filled with boxes. And Christine was laughing at me. I'm like, I'm Mrs. Kravitz. <laughs> like, I know everything that's going on in the neighborhood. Are you going to go talk to her so she, you can just get them direct next time? That's what that's what Christine said. Yeah. She said, why don't you just tell her to just leave them by you? your back porch, yeah. but I didn't take them today because I have enough boxes. Hi, Harley. Good morning. I know you guys have had a lot of coffee. Can you tell? <gasps> I've been up since 630 this morning. I think I drank like 10 cups of coffee. That's why I'm like, pop, 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 pop. but I missed you guys. I really wanted hi, Ed. Hello. Hello. I really wanted to come on last night. Saxton. I called Saxton. She texted me. Hi, Holly. And um, hi, Katie Ann working while listening. Thanks for being here, honey. Um, I really wanted to come on last night, these collections, but um, I called an old, an old friend who had a, a death in the family. And by the time I was done talking to her and catching up on all, like she's from Boston, I was like so exhausted. I was exhausted. So I, I, I said to Schreiker, Schreiker's like, well, why didn't you put lava lamp on? And I'm like, oh, you know, I just didn't even have the energy to do that because I got to move everything and, and put the thing up and the table and plug it in. I mean, it, it doesn't sound like it's a lot of work, but trust me, Christine knows it's a lot of work to just even do that. Everything's work. Everything's work. What does D say? I really like listing on Macari fast and easy. I also use pirate ship for my shipping. Busy, 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 selling steady. Awesome D's. Awesome, sweetheart. Stitch it. Good morning, honey. Happy hump day. She says, Carla M. Good morning. Good morning. There's Saxton. Saxton was, um, was I on the phone with Saxton? Yeah, Saxton was here last night when, uh, my husband walked in, but I was actually talking to the treasure hustlers when um, my husband surprised me yesterday and he brought Boston and Boston spent the afternoon with me yesterday. It was so nice to have him here. He was a little bit nervous at first, like walking around room to room, like, you know, like he's been here one other time. Like, what is this place? But he finally calmed down and took a little nap, which was nice. Christine O'Brien. Christine, I've got your order ready to roll, honey. I've got you guys. I did a lot of shipping yesterday, but I still have some orders that um, that I'm going to be working on today. Hi, Dora. Hello, sweetheart. Good morning. Um, I'm catching up, though. I'm catching up. Like I, I, I run it like 75% done. So um, yeah, yeah, moving is wide-eyed emoji. Moving is so expensive. Yep, money and energy wise. Exactly. Good morning, Jen Bennett. Hello, sweetheart. That trash neighbor. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Hey there. How are you? Jim, thank you for being here. Christina. Hello, sweetheart. I'm going to probably get your order out too. I was going to wait to see if you saw something else just, just to save on shipping, Christina, because I think you have the jewelry box and one other thing. I'm not sure. So it's a small bundle. So I was going to wait. Some of the things that I haven't shipped you guys is because I, um, hey, little Martin's Nest. Hello. Good morning, sweetheart. William, it's so good to see you. We have missed seen you. him for a while back from outer space. Good to see you. Um, some of you that have like small waiting is fine. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, honey. Um, I know you have gift certificates and if the bundles are little, then I um, just, you know, wait another couple of days so that I can do combined shipping. And East Coast, I got your email. Thank you so much for like the rundown. There was a couple of things that um, I had a question about, so I'll email you back. 
a couple of, I think, salt and pepper shakers that are on your list that I didn't see. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Well, I'll, I'll email you back or text me, actually. Texting me um, might be better. Here, you guys, if anybody doesn't have my phone number, take it. Um, 561-768-3585. Yeah, um, calling me is always better. Hi, Doreen. Lindsay Ann, hello, sweetheart. Today's Angelina's last day of school. And um, do you guys remember the painting? I'm going to show you. She finished it, you guys. Unbelievable. I posted it on uh, my Facebook page. I might post it on my YouTube but, um, community channel, but I want to show you guys her, her, her work. She's The kid is just amazing. So here's the finished product. You guys saw it before she did the hair. Here, let me take the banner off. Hey, KF. Look at. Isn't that amazing? Oh, turned out great. Isn't that amazing? Look at what a great job she did with the hair. It's unbelievable. Hey, Mr. Turtle Trader. It was buy it now. You offered two sets. I don't know what that is. No, single, single one, single salt and pepper shakers that I sold that night. Isn't that amazing? Can you can you believe if she had like formal training? She, it's unbelievable. I said to her, I said, you know, she did that from a picture. I said, that's a good, she enjoys it. She loves it. Like that's a great way for her to make like a little bit of extra money while she's in college you know, people can send her pictures of like their animals or, you know, yeah, portraits and she could do them and then ship them out. I mean, I don't know what kind of money my packages arrived safe and sound. Thank you for the great packaging and products. Oh, stitch it. Thank you, sweetheart. Jenny. Hi, honey. Good to see you. Leticia. Thanks for coming in. Jenny. Um, so uh, yeah, stitch it. I found another another um, lot that you uh, bought. So and I've got you know all the ones. Hi Lisa Jenkins. Good morning, sweetheart. Um, I'll try to get to you today too. We'll see. I do have to go, Donatella. No, Donna. East Coast thrifting had to buy it now. The last day I was there. Hmm. Hi Twinklezor. No, Donna, East Coast Thrifting had to buy it now the last day I was there. Okay, I'll look. I'll look, I'll look. And Christine, remember you rewatched the video for me for the pigs and the sad puppy dog salt and pepper shakers, and you found them? If you could send me a screenshot of them, because those aren't marked. I got to find out. I got to I gotta write down who those got to go to to see if I can do combined shipping on those. Christine's so great at like watching, rewatching a video for me. I was say, how did she remember all of that? <laughs> I bet she rewatched the video. That helps a lot. <laughs> She's unbelievable. Like I'll say to her, I got a black Dooney wallet and I didn't write down on the slip who it belongs to. And she's like, two seconds later, is it oblong? Yeah. Okay. So and so bought it on such and such a date. Da, da, da. She doesn't want, she doesn't write things down. She just, mm -hmm. I'm the pigs, Erica. <laughs> All right, Erica, I'll write it down. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> so I have to keep track of everything or else I won't remember it. She's so good at like keeping track of stuff for me. It's unbelievable. Oh no, Jenny dental work. That sucks. Uh, Saxton's going to the dentist today. Oh, oh, sax, that sucks. Really? You would think it would be okay to smoke before you went just to calm you down a little bit. Okay, so Erica gets the pigs. They're so cute. I'm going to miss them. They've been sitting on the shelf in the shipping room. They're mm -hmm. so adorable. <laughs> I love them. Hey, Beetlebug. Hello, hello. Pammy Capotosto, good morning, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Um, there was something else that I wanted to tell you guys. I can't remember. Um, 
518 night. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. Um, the dogs with the red bags on head goes to style up the world. Style up the world. Okay, I'm writing it down. The dogs go to style up the world. And I just sent something out to them. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it all. That's all right. We'll, we'll hold on to them for the next time. $20 for the pigs. Thank you. Thank you. And how much were the um the sad puppy dogs? She said it makes the Novocaine not work as well if you have any other medicine drugs in your system. Really? Huh. The dogs were 16. Thank you, Christine. How's that? Two weeks old, and there, there she remembers it. Well, she wrote it down for me. She looked uh, it up. No, she looked it up. She went back and watched the video for me to help me because um, I didn't write them down. I do that sometimes. Like I'll, I'll put it aside. I'm like, oh, I'll remember by the morning. And Christine knows like when we were shipping, when she was here, we were like, I was invoicing and like she was in the shipping room, shipping orders and she'd wrap something up and I'd be like, all right, Christine, let's go take a cold, like, get cold drink of water and go sit out on the patio and take a 10 minute break for a few minutes. And then we'd come back in the house and, and she'd be like, wait a minute, who was this order mm. from? You know, it's like, it was just 10 minutes ago and you yep. just, you forget. Yep. You forget. So how are you, Shriker? What's going on in your world? Oh, good. Uh, not not much of anything happening, actually. I'm just trying to get a lot of listings on eBay. You know, the summer slowdown has got everybody running a little slower than normal. So got to yeah. list more, more, more. I was talking about that though, you guys. Summer slowdown, take advantage of it. This is when you gotta be listing because fourth quarter is gonna be here before you know it. And you're gonna wish that you took the summer slowdown time. Yeah. Like you, like you feel like uh, things aren't really selling. I don't feel like listing. Yeah, it's hard to get motivated when things aren't selling. Yeah. I know. When things are selling, you get motivated. You're like, I wanna put more and more and more because people are buying stuff and you wanna keep listing and listing. But when they're not buying, you're like, you, you lose your want to list. I know because I listed for years on eBay, but now is the time that you need to be listing. Yeah, it's hard to stay motivated. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of Mr. Turtle Trader, I'm going to show my first lot. Is that what it is? This is my first John eBay and it is turtle slow yes carla so a lot of people um are on you know summer vacation summer break graduations um in the summertime so they're not really shopping so much on ebay but now is the time that you really want to be um listing okay so here comes striker with all of the rules first one be on live chat not top chat which I just did myself because I was on um, top chat. And then we also have here minimum bidding increments. So $2 up to 50, then it's five. And then if it gets to a hundred, we like to do $10 after that, you guys. Um, this is an auction, no returns, no refunds given. Be sure you know what you are bidding on unless of course, Something arrives broken and or stained. I had um, someone reach out to me that received a couple of clothing items, three, I think, total, that are were stained, that were overlooked, and I will, yeah. I will replace them. I will replace them in the next order that goes out. I'll, I'll, I'll send her double. I'll send her not three, but six pieces for the inconvenience. So don't be afraid to reach out to me if something like that happens. I'm only human. I try to examine things. And she even said to me, she goes, Donna, I know it was a mistake because I watch you. And when you're showing stuff, you'll see, oh, this has got a rip in it. And I throw it to the side or, you know, the shoes, the scratch test. I give all the shoes the scratch test and, you know, I'll throw them aside. Like I try to a lot of the times I'm looking at the stuff for the very first time, like you guys are looking for it, um, looking at it. So just bear with me. 
I would much rather you reach out to me and let me make it like make it good for you than uh, bonjourno Jean Pierre, bonjourno, <laughs> um, than you not coming back to the auction because you got something that was either stained or something like that. So keep that keep that in mind. Um, oh, tell them about your shipping. Okay, shipping is free. Uh, $30 or more gives you free shipping. Good morning, Frank. Thank you so much for taking care of your invoice right away yesterday. Wow, that was like, thank you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> shipping is free, $30. Sometimes I will present something that's less than $30. Like today I might do some one-off items. Um, because not everybody wants to buy, you know, 25 stuffed animals or, you know, big jar jewelry. So I will do some one-offs today. Um, if you need the item right away, um, you let me know and I'll charge you shipping. If not, I'll hold it for about a week until you get combined shipping with some other things that you're going to buy. And then I'll, I'll send it out. Um, and you reach out to me either in the chat at that very moment. You can say, just charge me shipping. If not, I'll put it aside. Um, that way I can mark it on my slip. Um, and then one more thing we need to mention that uh, there's been some troll attacks recently in chats. So everybody just be patient and let me deal with it. And we'll get back to business as soon as we can, if it happens. Let me see what Christine says. I think... I think I started to pack up East Coast Thrifting Buy It Now order. That was one of the Christmas booty trays. Yep, they're all packed. You did. There's two boxes. Um, one has some craps in it, and the other one has the salt and pepper shakers. I'll, I'll get those out today. Hi, Virginia. Thanks for coming in. Toilet Girl, welcome in. Elsie, welcome in. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming over. Spend in the morning. Come have a cup of coffee. Um, yeah, Mr. Buys a lot got quite the troll attack yesterday. Um, I, a few, I a few channels did actually. Yes, I, I, I came in for like one second and I saw all the trolls, and then my phone rang. But I, I saw, I saw just enough time that Carl said, <laughs> I asked my girlfriend, I read Carl's message, I asked my girlfriend to meet me at the gym, she didn't show up. I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> I saw that. And then I got a phone call and I took the phone call and I was on the phone for a while. And then I went back in <laughs> and I saw that there was still some it trolls. From there. Of, yeah. Yeah. And I, and I wrote in the chat, Carl, I've been waiting at the gym for you. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Um, so if it happens, you guys will let, um, We'll let Shriker take I, care I, of I would appreciate everybody's help to deal with it, but it takes twice as long if other people jump in. Because if two people ban the same person, they unban them. So it actually takes longer. Yeah, it happened to me once like two years ago. I don't know if some of you, some of you that have been following me for a while remember that, but I had 500 people, 500 people. I, the, the numbers just kept going up and up and up. And I'm like, oh, my God, what is going on? They call them like YouTube pirates. And they come and they like, I guess someone told me that they're paid to go in and sabotage um, because it messes with your YouTube algorithm. And then if YouTube looks at it, you're supposed to report it or something like that. I never did. I never got in trouble from it. Um, from it happening, but yeah, that's what they say that it, it's uh, YouTube pirates and they actually get paid to go and like attack someone like you can hire them. I don't know anything about it. This is just what I've been told. I mean, you learn something new every day. There was a troll on pirates auction. He argued with people. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think this is targeted towards anyone specifically since it's happening to all the channels. I think it's just a, a random, we're going to hit everybody. Yeah. Huh. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me today. Do but you we, know John Pierre Alberto? Do I know John Pierre? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad that package arrived safely that I helped with. I tried so hard to make sure they were packed well. Oh, my gosh. Christine 
you want to talk about packing well christine was like building custom boxes to go around stuff i'm like christine what are you doing i'm like oh my god she's she was like taking such special care to make like the perfect boxes and her and her boxes were really awesome like she was using like priority boxes slicing them down taping them up making them like bigger it was really awesome she did a lot of packing that one day or oh, two days we did a lot of packing hey craig i hope you're well honey thanks for coming in you remember mr turtle trader that mass of trolls that came in that night it was crazy Yes, it was crazy, crazy. All right, you guys. All right, so here's my first item. If there are any Ninja Turtle, Ninja Turtle lovers. So um, there's three pieces here. This one here, I actually wanted to, this is a, um, it's a, it's a, it's on a skateboard. Um, it needs the batteries changed on it, but I really wanted to change the batteries and do a do a short with him going down the street because he is he's really awesome. I mean, he is really really awesome. And you know how Ninja Turtles are. I mean, I bet and see how he. I'm sure like when he's going down the street, he goes like you know he moves back and forth. Um, but that's a pretty awesome toy. I thought, but I don't have time to change the batteries and do the shorts. I'm just so busy doing other things. So in this lot, you get that one. And then this Ninja Turtle, he's he's actually pretty big. Um, and he is a Nickelodeon one um, right there, Nickelodeon. And he's got some pretty big long legs. Let me put him back here so you can see him. And then this Ninja Turtle is a, a Build-A-Bear. This is a Build-A-Bear Ninja Turtle. And yeah, he's got the, um, the turtle um, backpack thing. Some of them have like, have actual like backpacks, but he doesn't. He just has the turtle cover. So that's it. Three Ninja Turtles. I'd like to start it at 25. Um, let's see. Jenny came in at 22. Yeah, I started it at 20. Oh, you did? Okay. Okay. That's fine. Oh, grazie, Jean-Pierre. He says, the offro un caffè. He says, I'll, I offer you a cup of coffee. Hey, Eddie's eBay Attic, welcome in. You guys, let me know in the chat if there's anything special that you'd like me to, to show today. I was going to do some shoes. I was going to do some clothes. Um, maybe one or two of the last of the pocketbooks that I have. I did a plush lot. I'm going to do some one-off jewelry. Um maybe some glassware and perhaps a craft lot. I'm going to stay on until one o'clock when Mr. Buys a lot comes on. So we have a couple of hours and depending on how much shipping I get done and my daughter's coming to help me this afternoon. Um, so depending on how much shipping I get done, um, I'm going to decide whether or not I come on later on tonight. No, I don't have, sometimes I do have large size. I do have, they're not women's clothes, but I do have large size t-shirts left um, that I can definitely, random lots are always fun. Thanks, Jim. I'm probably a broken record, but won't argue if you try to sell. Okay. All right, Annie, Katie, Annie, Katie, Ann. Um, I kind of half thought I would put it on eBay um, because I did bring one, but mm, I think I'll, I'll, I'll bring it. I'll bring it because I know you've had your eye on it, sweetheart. So I'll bring it. And I, I got to show you, you get a special, a special gift with it. Um, 
So, you know, I, I'm trying to put some stuff away because my daughters are going to try to vamp up my eBay store this summer and put some things on eBay. Um, but I'll bring it. Yeah, that'd be real good to get them to do some listings for you. Yeah. I mean, I did look it up. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's like, uh, I hate it when I look things up. Misha, good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, good morning. Okay, we've got Jenny at 27. What do you think, guys? Who else was bidding on it? Uh, Susie. Susie, let us know, sweetheart. Let's see. Description is turtles. Ninja. Susie comes in at 29. Oh, I'm going to show some rock and roll albums today, too. Kawabunga. Jenny comes in at 31. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks, you guys. Susie's out. So Jenny's going to get it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do Katie Ann's. Katie Ann bought the first one. I only had two of these that I found so far. <coughs> um, I'd like to start. I'd like to start it. Um, I'd like to start it at. Let's start it at sixty. Is that okay? What is it? It's him. <laughs> With the, look at the color match. Isn't that adorable? Katie, there's nothing in my eBay, honey. There's nothing. That I, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm going to hopefully get the girls to uh, to um, list. So anyways, I, I found this little guy. He's vintage. He's adorable. I, I thought the colors were just uncanny. Like the colors are exactly. Um, so I thought, well, you know what? I think he'd look adorable in there. Okay, so this is a Pendle Pendleton, you guys. It's um, it's really, oops, hold on. Let me get it up on this, the camera. There you have it. Um. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's wool and all leather. Um, I had two of these. Katie got the other one, and it's it really is just amazing. It's an amazing purse. Katie's been asking and asking. I'm like, okay, honey. All right. With the cute little doggy on the side. Yeah, the colors are amazing on it. Let's see if I lay it down like this. So you can see it better. Yeah, there you have it. I don't know. I love I love the little dog with it. <laughs> Isn't it so cute together? Yeah, that's interesting. I know it's cute. Uh, I think Katie wants this one too. 
Yeah. Well, Katie has the other one, so she sees the quality of it. It's brand new, you guys, never been used. It still has the tag on it, but not the actual like sale tag. It has the um the little plastic tag that the actual like, you know, um, what do you call it? Tag was on it, the actual manufacturer's tag was on it. Boho. Oh yeah, sorry, Katie. Uh, Katie's high at 135. I took Susie's at 140. So we're at 135. We need 145. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. Susie Power bids. Yep. She's like, step aside, folks. <laughs> I love this purse. I love it too. It's awesome. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Susie. We need to wait until Susie is out of money. Susie, thank you, 190. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the love and support. Appreciate it so much. If I come on tonight after I get my shipping done, I think I think I'll do like just put the camera on and do like just a chat room and just do the one-offs like I did that one night, just kind of quiet. And I, I really enjoyed that. Did you guys enjoy that? I really liked doing that. Just kind of just a quiet evening. And hopefully that um, piece will be delivered today. So we don't have, hi Steve. So we don't have all of this, um, extra yeah you guys liked it yeah that's what we'll do i'm not gonna do like you know just put stuff on the table and just do one-offs one-off stuffed animals one-off glassware i have so many beautiful just like one-off stuff that i think you guys would really enjoy don't tease us donna i know erica i did um uh, um, T was yelling at, not yelling at me, but she's like, are you going on tonight? I'm like, T, I can't. I'm just like, I'm done. I'm so done. I worked so hard today. She's like, stop telling people that you're going on and then you don't go on. I said, people know me by now. They just gotta be subscribed to the channel. I'm, I always say I'm going on. And then sometimes I go on when I don't say I'm going on. I didn't say I was going on today. I just went on. <laughs> Schreiker called me. He's like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> I'm like, ah, going live. He's like, uh, when did you decide to do that? <laughs> no, I've burned, you know. Yeah, how I am. You never know, right? That's right. You just, Donna just put, throws up a stream. <laughs> True story, right, Erica? Susie's out. We have Sylvia Loves Auctions. Sylvia snipes in at 200. She stayed really quiet. Did Katie go out? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, Katie. It's only $10 more, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia's like, hey, shut up. <laughs> Don't say that. It's Donna time, right, Carla? Exactly. Just put up the lamp and we will chat. I know. I know it. Hey, Jill. Good morning, good morning. Desert girl. Thanks for coming in. All right. We're sold, sold, sold to Sylvia. Thank you, Sylvia. How exciting. I, Sylvia, is this your first purchase? I think this is your first purchase at the auction. Am I right? I don't know. 
I know she's bid before, but I don't remember her winning anything. I don't think I don't think so either. Sylvia, is this your first win? I like to be quiet and snipe. Yes, it is. That's right. I didn't think I don't think I've ever um um invoiced you or shipped anything to you. So awesome. Okay, Sylvia. Congratulations. You're gonna love it. Eleven eleven AM. Is it Hi Denali? He has his he has made his presence known so much to me in like the past week. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's just amazing. Like every time I turn around is like a reminder of him or eleven eleven or something. It's really, really amazing. Okay. Let's do some shoes. Love the mug. Oh, <laughs> my daughter gave me that for Mother's Day. <laughs> Isn't it great? I love my mug too. <laughs> Little inappropriate, but it came from my daughter, Cesarina. And Chesy, Chesy's like first word was shit. <laughs> she would drop her toys when she was a little baby. And I don't know, my husband and I, I don't think we used that word a lot in the house, but apparently we did because she'd be like, oh shit, two years old. I'm like, don't, don't say those words. Don't, don't do that. And she still, she still is potty mouth. The girls are great, Scarlett. Angelina's last day of school today. And um, Cesarina has another like two weeks to go. Okay, let's do some shoes, you guys. I'm looking at these for the first time. Um, okay, so these are going in the rubbish. And these are... Are you doing a large lot? Going in the rubbish. I don't know. So far, two pairs have gone <laughs> into the rubbish. Right. I'm just wondering how much to start it at. <laughs> um, started at 20 these look nice. These look good. The brand, they're, they're plastic. They're plastic shoes, and the brand name on them is Choka. Never heard of that brand. The sticker is in there. They look like they're in good condition, um, and they're rubber. They're rubber, but this is, this is um, suede, so I don't know if this is a good brand or not, and they are size 8. They're called choka. Like what you want to do to people that you can't stand, girls that you can't stand, you want to choka. <laughs> so that's the first pair. Okay, next pair, let's look at the condition on them. They've got a few scuffs. They're Liz Claiborne. Um, you know, I always look at them and I'm like, would I list these? And I would not. I would not list these. So bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to find you nice ones, okay? Um, let's see. These are Sperry. They're a little bit, yep, these are good. I would list these. I would take a magic eraser and clean these up, um, the cord. That will clean up nice. And then this will clean up nice. This, this feels like it's linen and they're in very good condition. I mean, they're definitely used, but they are Sperry, and you do have your Sperry people out there that love, and these are nice pair of summer sandals. So we'll do those. I'll try to move quicker, you guys. I know I'm moving a little bit slow. Um, these are suede, and the heels look good on them. They probably could use a little bit of cleaning. Um, they're called A-N-D and New Day. Does anybody know that brand name? And New Day. These came out of that estate. Um, I think they're in good condition. Maybe a little brushing on them. And those are size 8. They're good sizes. <clears throat> I think all three of them have been size eight, haven't they? All three of them are size eight, yeah. Yeah. Oh, those are Target? 
Erica. Okay. See, I don't, I don't even know. Thank you, Erica. Okay. So these are not target. These are J crew and they're dirty, but they appear to be in very good condition. And Erica, I know I owe you two pairs of shoes because Erica got a couple of shoes with scuffs. So um, I'll try to remember to put that in your next package. Actually, let me write it down right now in here so I can remember. Erica shoes. Also, I'll send you several pairs. Um, these are Lucky brand. Um, I think they're in good condition. They're suede. Again, if you have a nice suede brush and you brush that, those are a nice pair of summer shoes. These are, what are these? Something licorice. I don't know. They they seem a little bit. Well, I'm just gonna throw them in, and you guys decide. You guys, it's a throw-in. Something licorice is the name on them. They're cute, size eight. But those are a throw-in. You guys decide whether or not you want them for yourself or you want to list them. I don't know what they're worth. I don't know the name. Here is another pair of J. Crew. These are made in Italy, J. Crew. And the size on them is, let's see, this is an all-leather upper. And it's got a leather bottom, and they're size seven and a half. How could that be leather? Look at that. Aren't those awesome? These are all leather. They're so pretty. If they were red, we could put them on and say, there's no place like home. Hmm. Sparkly shoes like Dorothy had. And let's see what else we got here. These are called Fry. Is Fry like the Fry boots? It's spelt the same way. They're all leather. Oh my gosh, these look really nice. Look at these. And they're all leather. Look at the way these are made. Very, very nice shoes. And it's spelled, isn't that how they spell the um, fry boots, Shriker? I, I, I don't know. I think Not so. Sure. Is it you guys? Is that how they spell it? Fry sells well, Beetle Bug Ventures. Awesome. Okay, there's those. So you get a nice little mix. You get Target shoes, J. Crew shoes, Fry shoes. Here is probably an easy sell, but it needs to be cleaned. Um, they're Toms. They're saying that is definitely the way you spell Fry. Yeah. Here's a pair of Toms. And this is the pattern on them. Pretty for the summer. And they are a size. It's worn out. Oh no, here it is. Sorry. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half on the fry. I mean on the toms. Oh, these are pretty. Let's see what these are. These are very nice. They need to be cleaned. They're called Universal Thread. And they've got shearling inside of them. And they're size eight and a half. Look at how pretty these are. And they have shearling inside of them. Those are pretty luxurious. Universal Thread. I think that's a clothing company, isn't it, Universal Thread? I'm not 100% sure, but those are good looking. Aren't those so pretty? Those are so pretty. They're like a tweed. 
Are we doing a good job showing them? Yeah, good. you're doing good. Are those like cow shoes? Why Why would they have a shearling in them? I don't know. Look at them. Isn't that amazing? It's all leather. And they're in excellent condition. Love those. If those were my size, I'd keep those. I love the color of them too. And then these... I don't know if these are cheapies or not, you guys. I have no idea. They're called Carlos. Carlos. They're Carlos Santana. They're Carlos Santana. Did you know he made shoes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look. It's Carlos Santana. And they're, I couldn't tell if they were cheap or not, but I'm going to say that they're not cheap if they're Carlos Santana. Right, they got all that bling bling going on. Yeah, they say Carlos Santana. They passed the scratch test. Those are cute. Love those. Look at those. He makes great shoes. He does. I had no idea. So you get two pairs of nice bling blings in this lot. Um, let's see what else is in my little box of goodies here. Here's a pair of gap. You guys, you'd be surprised. You think that the, the, the pointy uh, toe has gone out of style, but some people still love the pointy toe. These are gap and they're lace up and they're denim. It's a denim. It's a denim like ballerina and this is leather. Look like a denim ballerina lace up. Those are pretty cool. And let's see. Oh, these were the shoes that Dolores wanted. They must have not fit her. If you guys were watching the other day, they're um, they're Nike. Um, they must have been either too big or too small for her. I don't know. They're size seven and a half, and they're called Nike Free. I saw her trying these on. She was gonna take these. She must have changed her mind because they're in here. I bet those cost some money when they were new. Yeah, I'm sure. And Dolores likes likes nice things, so you know if she would had her if she was eyeballing these, then you know that they uh, they're good stuff. And let's see what's in here. These look really worn out. These kind of look worn out to me, but I'm going to throw them in as a freebie, you guys, in case you know someone who's, you know, they're called Nike Free 4.0 Fly Kit. Um, but they, I mean, they definitely need to be cleaned. I mean, you can take a magic eraser and make this all look white again. This this Nike is supposed to look like that, but they look a little bit worn on the bottom. Like these were worn. The heel, the heel looks pretty good. Like this is what I used to look for when, when I used to, um, when I used to list things on eBay. Is you always want to make sure that the heel on it, or take a picture. Is that blurry? That the heel is pretty straight. And this heel is pretty straight, but. Um, they're still Nike. I mean, they're, they're decent. I'll put them in the lot. You guys decide whether or not 4.0 is what they call <clears throat> Mr. Clean white pads. Yeah. gets those, those will clean up nice. Yeah. Probably Jim. I mean, they're, they're good looking, right? I think they're yeah. good looking. So, yeah. They look nice. Yeah. So we'll put those in there too. And here's another nice pair. These people spent a lot of money on their sneakers. Here's another pair of 4.0. 4.0 must be like a nice, comfortable shoe. Look at those. Those are like gray and peach colored ones. And Nike sells. Nike sells well. All right, we're almost at the end of the box here. 
Ooh, these are good looking. Wait until you see these. These are Puma. Oh yeah. These are these are awesome. I bet these cost a penny when they were new. And they're in great condition. Check these out. Those are awesome. Oh my gosh, they look like they'd be so comfortable. Look at the condition of them, you guys. The condition is amazing. What's the bottom to look like? Beautiful. Yeah. Like, not worn. Very nice. Yep, they are absolutely beautiful. I should have done these as one-offs in case people wanted to buy them for individual use. I didn't know that they were this nice, all these sneakers. We'll see if I can come across some more for tonight and do them as one-offs. And here is a little pair of J. Crew plastic ballerina flats that will go in this lot. And last but not least, let's see what this is. <clears throat> They're just a pair of, they look like they're brand new. They're called Ooh Palm Beach. They look like they've never been worn. Jenny wants to know what size the Pumas are. Okay. I think everything is an eight. Yeah, seven, I think there was one seven and a half and one eight and a half, but everything else has been eights. Okay, let's see. It is U.S. I gotta get my glasses. Oh, I think I left my glasses on in the bedroom. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, these say number six. These say number six on them. Could it be a nine? No, it says six. UK five, Europe 38, US six, and CM, wherever CM is, 24. Yeah, they're six. They don't look like a six, but they say six. Yeah. Sorry, guys. They all came from the same estate, so I thought they were all... Uh... Thank you, Saxton. All right, I'm going to count them. And um, deep to deep pocket, Susie. Out to deep pocket, Susie. Oh, there we go. Probably a men's sex. Ah, Katie. I don't know. Not very many men's things came from this estate. It's this is the same estate from all of the um, the Lands End clothes. These shoes came. Okay, so I'm going to count them for you. You get one, two, three, four, five. And six, my favorite, I love those. Seven, the Toms are eight. These are freebie, don't forget. So if you get them and you're like, well, these aren't nice, they're just part of the freebie. Those are nine, 10, 11, Well, these are awesome. I hope you get good money for those. Those are great shoes. Those are 11. Oh, no, those were 12. These are 13. Pretty, pretty. 14. 
15, 16, 17 pairs. Nice big lot. Kind of got carried away. I was only going to show half the bucket. I like looking at them too. 17 pairs, and we have Susie at 160. I think everybody else is out. Yep, she's the last one standing. Awesome. This is lot number three, and it sold for... She's like, yay! It's a nice lot, Susie. For 160. All right. Congratulations, sweetheart. All right. Erica, thank you for bidding. And everyone else that was involved in the bidding, I wasn't really looking at the chat. I was showing the shoes. So thank you so much. Okay, let me know if there's any special request, but I'm going to do this as a one-off. It's a marcasite heart with, I don't know what kind of stones those are, but they do have flash in them. It's all- What do you want to start it at? $10. It's all marcasite. If somebody wants to buy themselves a little treat, and this will be probably about three dollars and fifty cents to ship out. <clears throat> if they want to buy it just for themselves, hey Kyle. Keychains are variety um, dibble boxes. All right, Harley, I got some. I got some dibble boxes made up. I want to know how long it is right. and if it's a magnet closure. So the actual chain goes to about eight and a half inches. Um, and it is a screw, not magnet. It's a screw. Yes. And it's hematite. That's right. And I'll show you on camera how big it is. Looks like cat's eye beads. I don't know. I have no idea but they've got a nice flash on them. See it? Delilah says, love, love, love my salt and pepper shakers. Thank you, Delilah. <clears throat> I'm so glad you like them. Coming to the end of them, I think I've got like three more trays. I might do a tray today. Wow, a hundred of you here today. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for spending your morning with me. Don't forget, Mr. Buys a Lot goes on at 1 o'clock. Dee's collection comes in at 16. Little Martin's Nest likes it for 20. It's really pretty. Let's see if I try it on for you. Not to sound weird, I think I have a big neck. I'm a big girl. So I'm five seven. So I'm not I'm not petite. So you can see how big it is. I always wanted to be petite, but I wasn't. I wonder if my girls think about that too. <laughs> they're certainly not petite either. They're giants. But there it is. 
Uh, Little Martin's Nest, would you verify that's 37? Thank you. It's really pretty, isn't it? That's why I decided to do it as a one-off. D is out. Hey, Swamp is in the house. Hello, Glenn. Thank you, Little Martin's 27. Nest. 27. Thank you, Martin's Nest. All right, looks like, let's see, Dee was out because she thought it was 37. So should we call it down to Little Martin's Nest? Welcome back, Craig. <clears throat> yes, uh, Carla was in for a moment. Oh, thank you, Jill. With the winner's position permission, I will wear it the rest of the auction. <laughs> I love my earrings that June bug. I changed the backs on them, so I haven't lost them. Remember, I lost them like the very first day. I lost one, and then I lost it again. So I changed the backs on them. I don't usually wear dangly earrings like this, but... I love them because they're opals. And when someone compliments me, I say, these are my daughters. They were both born in October, one for each. Oh, Leticia, you just got your DKN package. Oh, awesome. The um, cosmetic cases that you bought. That took a long time. That went out like way last week or the week before, I think. All right, Little Martin's Nest. Gets it for $27. And it's lot number four. And it's the hematite. All right. Let's see. I have to take it off. I was going to wear it. I just can't wear necklaces. I don't know why. I just can't. They just really bother me. I'll never, I'll never wear them. I had moved and didn't change the address on PayPal. Ooh, or your registration, because I sent it to wherever the registration was. Ooh, you guys, if you move, you have to do that. Good thing you got it. Thank you, Scarlett. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, please take a moment and um, change your registration so that doesn't happen. Let's see, $27 to Little Martin Nest. Um, okay, let me do some records and then I'll do a double box. All right, so... This first one is Dom McLean, American Pie. Is $25 okay? Yep. $25 start. And I'm going to put them on the second camera. I'm going to take myself off so they can just look at the albums. And you can ask me if there's a specific album that maybe you want to look at. Here is Peter Frampton Comes Alive, and it's an awesome condition. Awesome, awesome condition. I mean, it. yeah, it has somewhere here, but the album itself, I haven't seen one in that good a condition. Here's Bachman Turner Overdrive 2. The firm, that's number four. Joe Crocker is number five. The Beach Boys in Concert is number six.
It's like a book. That's pretty cool. Here's a Beatles white album. It's in pretty bad condition. It does have a number on it. Um, seeing this for the first time myself too. I'll tell you what it has in it. It only has one record and it's pretty badly scratched. You can see it, see the scratch marks on it? So we'll consider that a freebie. Um, I don't know who this is. Oh, Kansas. I couldn't read it. There's Kansas. Emerson Lake Palmer. Another side of Bob Dylan. This is the Moody Blues. Dave Mason at its at his best. Are they, Heidi? This is John Mayhall, USA. And we have Hey Hey with the Monkeys. The Steve Miller Band. Harry Chapin. Quarter Flash. Robert Plant. The Steve Miller Band. Is that Billy Joel Ram? I don't know who that is. I don't know who this is either. Do you? Shrinker? No, what's it, Angel White Hot? I don't know, I have no idea. The, Lon the London Chuck Berry Session. That's an awesome, um, album cover. Uh, Pete Town Townshed. Jethro Tell. The Guess Who. Um, I've sold this one before, but I can't pronounce it. Ur Uriah Heaps. That sounds right. Emerson Lake Palmer. Oh, thank you, Robin. Thanks, honey. I'm going to come on later on tonight, I think. Don't hold me to it for like just one-offs in the hangout. Oh, wow, this is awesome. This is like pretty cool looking inside. Emerson Lake Palmer, but it has um, has the, like the letters are like cut out here. How do I open this? Just had it open. Okay, that's all of it. And Craig's going to come in at 25. No other interest. We'll give it to Craig for 25. I'll count how many there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Oh, I hear a little reverb coming. Do you hear that when I talk? It's not too bad. Hmm. Ed would like a few more, it looks like. Who would? Ed. Ed wants me to add a few more. 29. I can I can probably add three or four more, but then it's gonna be over over weight limit. It'll cost too much money to ship out. have to keep it under 20 pounds otherwise it gets expensive yeah. okay the secret policeman's ball sting jeff beck eric clapton looks like a bunch of phil collins looks like a bunch of artists did a collab on that one this one is is that stills yep stills maybe from stills crosby nash i don't know and here's the mamas and the papas. This is an excellent condition. This album is in perfect condition. And then I don't know who this is, but Randy Newman, Little Criminals. Can't say I know who that is. And here is Steppenwolf. Born to be wild. And then here's a super tramp. Okay. So that was 29, right? Yeah, it was 29 to start with. What do you have now? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35 total. Might have to go out in two bundles. Oh, my son's calling me. Excuse me one second. Hey, buddy. Oh, because I'm live. I'm selling. What's up? Oh, thank you. Fine. Um, right, right, right. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I'm done. Oh, yeah, no. What are you buying, a guitar? Okay. All right. All right, buddy, I'll call you back. Are you um, available today? Okay, because I have a I have a pickup up in Stewart that needs to be picked up, and then I want that last big black shelving unit for my shipping room. Yeah, I'll call you back. All right, bye, honey. Thank you. 
Facebook user, I'm buying the records. Well, you need to come over to YouTube if you want to buy the records. Okay, where are we at? We've got Craig at 55 for this huge lot of records. Should we sell it? Should we sell it? No, Connie's here. Oh, Connie Johnson. Connie, I found another record lot that belongs to you. I just don't know if I invoiced you for it that I have to send out. I sent out two big bundles. I don't know if I invoiced you for three or two. I'm going to have to go back and look. <clears throat> Connie, did you see them all, honey? I don't know if she saw them all. I think Connie just watches in the background sometimes. When she sees records, she makes a comment. Yeah, you just came in? Okay. James Cisco. good afternoon. Actually, it's still morning. James says, nice lot. Thank you. Oh, you're on break. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Leon. Welcome in. Okay, you need you registered and everything. Facebook user, you need to come over to the YouTube channel. Is there a way to drop the YouTube channel so they can come over here? Uh, maybe if James goes over to Facebook, he could do it. James, can you do that for me? Because all I all I see is good evening, <laughs> Anthony. Good evening. Good evening. All I see you is um, all I see you is Facebook user. I don't know who you are. He said it was Jack. Jack who? Don't know that. Which group are they watching in? Well, I put, I'm, I'm streaming on auctions for you and storage unit buyers and resellers. Newsflash, writing sessions with producers suck. I'm sure, Connie. I'm sure there's a lot of back and forth. Thank you, James. I called you two months, remember? I called you. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That he called you two months ago? Well, you've talked to a thousand people since then, haven't you? I know. <laughs> I know. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome in, sweetheart. Well, if you can hear me, you need to come over, Jack, the one who talked on the phone. Oh, yes. Okay, Jack, do you understand that you need to be here on YouTube, not on Facebook? You have to be here on YouTube. Yes, I remember you calling me because you were questioning me as to whether or not you had a wrench. And I said, yes, you had a wrench on the channel. You didn't think you had a wrench, right? Is that you? All right. Thank you, James. All right. Connie Johnson's at 100. Blue Cross Pickers at 110. Somebody posted the link, Jack. That's the third time. James, James posted the link. All you had, there it is. All you have to do is click on it. 
you better come quick because um, it's closing. What do we say, 35 albums? I think so, yeah, something like that. It's a nice collection. This was the one that was like, I don't know what that says. <laughs> See how it's kind of hard to figure it out? Like when you first look at it. Is it hard for anybody else to figure that out or is it just me and my brain? I don't know. There was just so much going on on that album. I was like, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Beach Boys in Concert. This is an awesome album. I used to love the Beach Boys. I used to listen to the Beach Boys over and over. My parents would be like, turn that off. Listen to something else. I couldn't get enough. The Endless Summer album was my favorite with my blue record player in my room. Those were the days. Oh, what I would do to go back to those days when life was so simple. I was can't really lucky. Can we? Huh? we can't do that though, can we? No, I was really lucky. I had an amazing childhood. Amazing. Great parents, great siblings, beautiful home, vacations. It was awesome. But it all changed. <clears throat> it's amazing how things can change on a dime. All right, we've got Connie at 150. My friend named her son. Yura told her she should call him. Gonna get my butt kicked on the playground. She was not amused. Oh, is that the name of the album? I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Wouldn't it be nice to go back, right? When everything was black and white. I loved the world when it was black and white. It's just too colorful right now. The world is like so colorful. <clears throat> I don't know. I enjoyed it when things were simpler. Okay. Hi, Karen. Hello, sweetheart. Karen, I updated um I updated your invoice. I sent one invoice and then I updated it because I forgot the Brighton bag on there. But your order has already gone out, so I'll send the Brighton bag. Got to get back on there. I'll send the Brighton bags in a separate box. Adulting does suck. I was adulting all day yesterday, trying to get insurance for my cottage. It's been very, very challenging. Um, because of the age and I have to have a three point inspection done on it. And then they don't want to insure it. They don't want to insure it. Okay. Bye all. <laughs> Connie's like, I've done my damage for the day. I'm going now. Thank you, Connie. Have a good rest of the day. So basically, so basically because of the price that I paid on it and the age of it, they won't insure it for more. I can't buy more insurance. So if I had to replace this, the insurance that they would give me for, like if there was a flood or hurricane, I couldn't replace this cottage for what the insurance company is giving me. So I have to shop around and try to find another insurance company. Insurance companies are dropping normal customers right now. 
Honestly, insurance in Florida sucks. I I didn't get a lot of my shipping done yesterday because I was on the phone for almost an hour and a half, probably two, like start to finish, um, trying to figure out this whole insurance mess. Talk about adulting. And it's because it's a modular home. That's what the problem is. It's not a um, regular foundation home. It's a modular home. So I'm very limited as to who will insure it. Yes, yeah, that's who it is. It's citizens. That's exactly who it is, Ed. It's citizens insurance. Like one of the biggest insurance companies in the country. That's exactly who I got my quote for. It's, um, yeah, I was like, I was, ugh, talk about aggravating. Okay, let me mark this and get something else. I have a request for a dibble box, so let's do a dibble box. I have a dibble bag over here. Let's see what's in it. Okay, let me mark this. It's two to Connie. Copper coffee cups. How do I get Tweety Bird in my box? That's a vintage Tweety Bird, Erica. Um, let's see. That was lot number five. It's 150. And it's records. Hi, Christine. Thanks for coming in. She goes, oh, I know, Erica says. Come back tonight, Erica. We'll auction them off. I'm going to do some one-ups tonight. I got a whole bunch of beautiful seashells. I think I'll do um, some she sells. She, she sells seashells by the seashore. And I am by the seashore. So I wouldn't be lying. Maybe that's what my thumbnail will say. And maybe I'll divide them up into small lots so everybody can get some seashells from Palm Beach. I mean, I don't know if they're all from Palm Beach, but I did. Um, are you bringing them to auction? Which ones? What co which copper um, cups? What, the those those aren't copper. Those are um, ceramic. I never received an invoice for a hundred dollar craft lot. I'll send it, Deborah. I'll send it today, honey. I'm a little backed up. Deborah Reed, one hundred dollars crafts lot invoice. I'll get that out. Yes, them. They're um. These are, these are, um, these are Hall and they're all, they're, um, they're beautiful. They're gold. Dibble, 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 Erica says. Okay. So I don't know if somebody was interested in those. Okay. Let me put the camera on and I'll show you what's in this dibble. I don't even know what's in here, you guys. So we're going to, we're going to look at this together okay so first thing that's in here are a couple of magazines oh there's more than one in there this is marvel magazine the savage of the sword conan and marvel magazine conan again i'll just put this back inside here these are not comics, these are magazines. And then there's this one, which is Savage Tales. Okay. Then I have one of these guys in here. Mm. Elizabeth, what are these called again? I keep forgetting. These are those made in England little troll guys. And then I don't know what's going on with this, but this is world's smallest iron. 
<laughs> Look at how tiny this is. This is a real iron. It's never been used, it looks like. Maybe it's made, maybe it's intended for crafts. I don't know if this came out of the craft lot that I bought, but that's the world's smallest iron. Oh, here's another one of those, those guys. I think these are desirable. Um, made in England. I think they're desirable on um, eBay. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then we have a Sirwaski 2018. Beautiful Sirwaski crystal Christmas ornament. That is beautiful. That comes with its box. Um, Oh, no, look at this. There's a dog harness. See, if I knew this was in here, I could have taken Boston for a walk last night when he came to visit. There's a dog harness. There's a tarnish magnet. Removes tarnish instantly. No fess, no muss. No mess. No mess. No mess. No. I don't know what that says. Um, here is, this sells well, you guys. Spanx. It's a size medium. If you're a reseller, they are so expensive. I have certainly sold my share of these. Oops, not Mr. Mr. Guy over. Oh, this is broken. This is broken right here. I remember Christine. Christine, remember you put this here? You guys, so you can either keep it. I just realized this. Here's the piece. There's the piece. Christine, um, when, when we unpacked this, Christine, that was you, wasn't it? Or was it Dolores? I think it was Christine. So just keep in mind, but the piece is there. You can either fix it, or sometimes I have listed things where I put in the title needs repair, and I put the piece right down next to it, and people can just do their own repair job on it. So it's up to you. I'd rather do that than repair it and you know tell people that it's been repaired. Here's, um, it doesn't have a name on it. It has a strap. It's just a bottle. Here we have a Hummels. It's got Japan on it. And it works. I don't want to overwind it. widescreen edition of Batman Begins. Some sort of measuring tool. Screen finder. I don't know what these things are, but you guys will have to look them up and see. Proportional scale, percentages, number of times and reductions. Circle template. So these are all like a bunch of. Um, let me just pull this up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Here is a beautiful scarf. It's. Um, I don't know if it's silk. Let's see the end. It's not rolled. It's a finished end. It's, uh, I don't know if it has a name on it. I'm looking. 
you know, I don't see a name on it, but it's a it's a big scarf. Here's a Victoria's Secret. I know what this is. I put this in here. It's a duffel. It's a pink Victoria's Secret duffel. Here, let me show it to you on camera. That's how big it is. It's a duffel bag. So this is like going shopping at the thrift store and filling up your cart with things that you want to take home and sell but I'm doing it for you. So that's what a dibble, that's what a dibble lot is. It's just an assortment of stuff. Oh, this is pretty cool. Should I sell these or should I give these away with 45s that I sell? I don't know. It's um, a whole bunch of those. I don't know if I should put those in there. I guess I need to now that they're, I showed them. Here's a bunch of um, I guess some pins. That is can you read that, Shriker? It's uh, something university Alumni and friends. Hudson University. Hudson University. Operation Desert Storm. Operation Desert Storm. Um, this one looks like a Russian. I don't know, some sort of Russian pin. What is that? Miami Dolphins, Minute Maid Soda. No idea, it's, but it's in a plastic cover, so it's gonna have some sort of value. What's that? Collector's Edition, Major League Baseball. World Series. 19, 2000, 2000 on that one. Here is upside down. 1980 Olympics, wherever that was at. Yeah. There's another one, 1980 Olympics, wherever that was at. Pin. Is it a Chinese coin? Miami Transit Company. I don't know what that is. So you get this little box full of pins in there. And then you get <clears throat> this brass dolphin on a wave. And I don't know if it's signed. No, I don't see a signature on it. I just see a price. This looks like it's either metal or it could be pewter. The dolphin's definitely brass. And here is a vintage Girl Scout uniform. It's the it's the ladies uniform. There's a vintage Girl Scout uniform. And here is a coach butterfly keychain. This is 
1986 All-Star Game, Houston Astros. It's a keychain. Here's a little knife keychain. Here's a fountain pen. Here's another scarf. These are, remember the hundreds and hundreds of scarves that I got, that I sold? Here is a bag of wood carved bunnies. They're just little bunnies. And then with all of that, you get this is what it will ship in. And it's a Betsyville, um, Betsy Johnson, Betsyville, needs to be cleaned. It's a clear tote bag. It definitely needs a bath. I'm not cleaning it. It's dirty. But you get all of that in this Betsyville tote. Okay? So that's a dibble lot. A little dibble bit of this and a little dibble bit of that. Comic books, the statues, the mini iron, the coach, the coach keychain, the dolphin, the Sawaski crystal, the comic books, um, the bottle, these different measuring devices, Batman Begins DVD, the little music box, the Girl Scout uniform, the 45 things, the little knife, the Victoria's Secret bag, the Spanx top, the tarnish magnet, this other beautiful scarf, and a dog harness, all in one big tote. And it's a dibble box. The bag is pretty awesome, I have to say. It just needs, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It holds a lot of stuff. Yeah. I'm going to add this too. Made in the USA. I'm going to add that to it. It's a vintage set of earrings. Let me see what else I have. What else can I add to it? What other treasures lurk here? I'm going to add this to it as well. I bet it would be beautiful cleaned up. It almost looks like... Um, well, it's made in China. There's a sticker on it, but I would, I would test it. Let and it comes with this cute little pouch. And it goes in that pouch. It's a business card holder. It's pretty classy, you know, if you're out flea marketing or wherever you are and you pull that out with your business card in it. I think that shows a lot of class. I'm gonna put this in there too. These, um, gotta go back to studying. All right, honey. This is, um, it's called Lulu Frost, lulufrost.com. And they're brand new. And this is what they are, they're cufflinks by a company called Lulu Frost. 
Donatella, check out Foremost Insurance. They do modular insurance as well. Foremost. Okay, I'm going to write it down, Kyle. Thank you. Foremost. Okay, so with, with their pouch, Lulu Frost is the name of those cufflinks. And like I said, they have... They're great for reselling. They have the original Lulu Frost tag right on them. And Craig is at 85. Should I stop? Is everybody done and done? Everybody's out but Craig. All right. And I'm going to throw this into necklaces. They're two little necklaces that I guess you can have like monogrammed. I'm gonna put those in there as well. All right, let's call it. Sold, sold, sold for $85. All right, what do you guys want to see next? Clothes? Another dibble box? You haven't done a drop and stop today. Do you have any crafts ready to go? Um, I do. I'd like to go get some stamps out of that closet. Um. Looks like a couple of votes for clothing. Clothing? Okay. Donna, can you send my items now? I paid for my most recent $100 gift certificate. Yes, Andrea. Welcome home. Welcome home. I, ho I hope you had a nice time at the beach, honey. I have um, the $75... Clothing lot, and then I have a pendant, I think, that you bought. How I remember these things is beyond me, but I have the pendant and the, and I don't know if there was something else, Andrea. Was there something else? It was the, it was the um, clothing lot and the pendant, from what I can remember. Elizabeth's worried about those kitties. I say, I see that. I see that. I'll show them to her in a minute. I'll show them to her in a minute, so she won't be nervous. She gets she gets a little bit crazy with the wellness check of the kitties. All right, I'm going to show some clothes next. Let me just put this in the outgoing area. Show Elizabeth the kitties. Here they are, good as can be. They're fine. Don't you worry about them. They're right. They're right here. They're okay. They're right where they need to be. Okay. I'm just going to grab a random bag over here and we'll see what's in it together. The kids put these bags together for me. So we're going to explore it together. This is how big the bag is. All right. I'll put them, I'll show them to you and then I'll put them on the table. J crew. Absolutely adorable. I don't see any pilling. It's really, really pretty color size, extra small. It's adorable. It's. I wish I. I would keep this. This is so cute. Where would you like to start? I'm started at twenty five. 
See, if I put the split screen on, um, you're going to be on it. Otherwise, if I take you out, can you hear me? No. You can't hear me, right? I, I could hear you. You couldn't hear me. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do it like this, and I'll I'll turn you back on if I need you. Um, okay. So this is Tommy Hilfiger, and they are um, cropped, and they have cargo pockets. Um, on the side and their Tommy Hill figure. That's number two. These are Loren jeans, size two petite, uh, no pockets in the back, zippers on the side, which believe it or not, that's like back in style. Okay, those are Loren jeans. That's number three. The this one is a gap extra small. It's a heavy shirt. It's a nice heavy cotton. That's a gap. That's number four. Next we have another pair of jeans. Uh, cotton pants. Tommy Hilfiger. Number three. With the side pockets. With the side cargo pockets. That's number five. Next on the chopping block is this Loren with the shooter patch on the side, short sleeved, size medium. Next we have Tommy Hilfiger, size small, pretty black and white checkered shirt. Yes, they are mostly extra smalls and smalls. This woman was tiny. This one is not your daughter's jeans, too petite. They are black. These are a good seller. Not your daughter's jeans. Next we have, it's an old navy, it's a flannel. It's an old navy, but it's nice. And it's a large. It's a large old navy. I don't know if that came from the same bundle or they just found it and put it in there, to be honest with you. Some of her stuff was old navy, but a large, I don't know. This one is called Rip Curl. You guys know the name Rip Curl. This is nice. What size is this? It's a size medium. I'm surprised Chessie didn't keep this. It's a rip curl top. It's really pretty. That's that. Here we have another Old Navy. It's a skirt and it has tags on it. It has brand new Old Navy tag on it. And it's just a a long skirt and next is this really pretty brown it's called oh it's laundry laundry's good yeah that's a good name and look at how pretty it is it's very pretty it's an excellent condition I don't see any stains snags, nothing. Just needs to be um, steamed or thrown into the dryer. Or just even put out in the sun. The sun takes the, um, this is American Eagle and it's boyfriend fit and it definitely feels like silk. And it's a beautiful kind of watermelon color on that one. Next we have this one and it's Express size medium. Express used to be so expensive. Is Express stores still open? I don't know. I don't go. The last time I went into 
an express store. They had changed everything that they were doing and everything was so expensive. I mean, everything was kind of pricey before, but they really went like boutique -y, boutique. -y. This one is J. Crew, and it's typical J. Crew style. It's really pretty, very wholesome. Um, it's kind of like a tunic. It doesn't button all the way down. It just buttons like down to like the belly and then it's closed. It's a pretty J. Crew, very preppy. This one is, I don't know this brand name. I don't know if it's a boutique name or what, but it's a blue polka dot little number, which is very cute. And then next is Massimo. It's Massimo. I like this. I'm going to keep this one. Sorry. Shopping for myself. <laughs> I like it. It's nice and comfortable looking. It's perfect for the cottage. Here's another Massimo with the peekaboo peek sleeves. Bread and butter for that. Or just keep it for yourself or give it to someone. Like, I don't know if I would list Massimo. It's a Target brand. So I, don't, I probably wouldn't list it. But I'll just throw it in. This is a Tahari. This I would definitely list. It's a T-shirt especially with summer being here, that's definitely something I would list. Um, this is a J. Crew. It's just a little black skirt. And you know what? It's got lint all over it. So not from my house, you guys. This is the way I got it, but I'm not going to de-lint it. You guys do that. Get a lint brush and lint it all off. I, I wish I had the time to prep the clothes for you, but I don't. Here's a pair of J. Uh, no, and uh, loft, loft jeans. Looks like high-waisted loft jeans, and they're size two. Size two on those. And I'm almost done with this bag. And here is a pair of. This is your. This is your pair of Levi's jeans. Oh, you guys, Levi's are trending again. For some reason, someone told me that Levi's are selling really good on eBay again. So grab those Levi's if you find them out in the wild. This looks like it has a little bit of paint on the knee. Fair warning. You see it right there? You can try to get it out or list it with it. It may not make any, um, you know, may not affect people. Sometimes girls will buy them and just tear them to shreds anyways and do their own thing with them. And this is a cute sweater. This is called Permise, size large. Very pretty. You can see the front of it is like that. And then the rest of it is just a beautiful cotton and smells so good. Hey, for those of you that have already gotten your clothes from this bundle, don't you agree all the clothes smell so good? They smell so good. Um, so this is a size large. This is a pretty sweater. I like this. This is such a nice, pretty brown color. I don't need to keep it, but I would. This is something I totally would wear with a nice little white shirt underneath it. Very pretty. All right, I'm going to let you in. Um... Okay, so I'm going to count the pieces down, you guys, and let you know how many pieces you get. I love that brown sweater. It's really pretty. So that's one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See, funny how we stopped on 11. Do you remember what the last piece was? Erica wants to see a tag. I think it was the very last piece you showed, whatever it was. The nice sweater, Erica, the one I said I liked. All right, I'm at 11, you guys. Premise. Premise? I said premise. 
premise. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You're welcome. 18, 19, 20, 21. And this is beautiful. This is a beautiful sweater right here, you guys. 21, 22 pieces. 22 pieces of clothing. Sixty to twinkle. All nice stuff. My daughters did good. Christina, sixty-five. Hi, honey. Looks very professional. What does? Mary Pisano. Hi, honey. Welcome in, sweetheart. Christina's at 65. Okay, Swamp, back to work. Thanks for checking in during your break, honey. Good to see you. Hi, Heather MC. Hello, hello. Shriker's bookcase, right? It looks awesome. His background is great. When I first saw him live on the camera, I was like, is that your background? And he's like, yeah, it's not a green screen, I promise. <laughs> hey, Jill. Welcome in, Jill. All right, we're at $65. Any other takers? Uh, we're waiting on Beetlebug. Beetlebug comes in at 70. Hi, Kim Murphy. Okay, $75. Let's stop it right there. I did a weekend special last weekend where I did 20 pieces of clothing for $75 of this, of this estate that I bought. So I can fill probably six or seven more orders. Hi, Mama G. Um... So we're going to give this bundle to Christina. Christina specifically gets this one. If anybody else for $75. So I'm going to up the ante. And last time I did 20, but I really shipped out more than 20 pieces. If there were a lot of t-shirts and stuff, I shipped out like 24, 25 I think one order even got like 28 because it was, I didn't want to go fishing for like jeans and stuff. So I just sharing the wealth, just sharing the wealth, you guys. So anybody want an order of uh, how many pieces was in this lot? 20. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember 20? Was it 25? Christina's going to take a second one also. Was it 25? Between 25 and 30. And Trinko will take one. Let's just do 25, okay? Let's just do 25 pieces. It's just going to be a mix. If you get something with a little rip or a little stain, I'm sorry. Get back to me, but I'll make sure that they're nice, nice lots, okay? For $75. Okay, so Christina is going to take two. And Twinkle Zor? Yeah, Twinkle. And Beetlebug's going to take one. And lot number nine is going to be Beetlebug.
My marker's done. Okay. Anybody else? Jean Pierre is asking you what time it is there. It is. To 12.41, Mr. Buys a Lot goes on in 15 minutes. Um, should we try to sell these? You had a request for them. So there's... Um, I'll tell you how many there are. six where do you want to start them 30 they're thirty dollars starting. Christine B. She was looking at these when she came to the house. She's so bad. Christine. Oh, I said, honey, take them if you want them. She goes, no, I'm just looking at them. They're beautiful. She wouldn't take anything. And they are ceramic, you said? Yeah, and their ball. Ah, uh, hall, not ball. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. We'll give them to Christine B. Perfect, because I got a big bundle coming out to you. All right, these are going to Christine's house. I should have known better. All right, this is going to be my last thing I sell, but this is going to, I'm going to have to start this, believe it or not. I mean, I don't know if somebody wants this for personal, personal use, but... I am going to have to start this at $50 because it is going to be really expensive expensive to ship out. Look at this. Jill, you remember this? It's very vintage. It's the ice bucket. It comes on this little cart. It's an excellent condition. It's got the ice picks. This came out of the Gemini. I don't know if it has a signature anywhere on the cups. I haven't looked. Did you say $50? Yeah, it's going to be a $50 start. Yeah, you're going to have to wrap those up really good. Yeah, it's, this is scary to ship. They have uh, green diamonds in the purple shamrocks, and they're in perfect condition. Look at the gold on them. Isn't this beautiful? It's a beautiful. Ooh, I had that set years ago. Did you, Frank? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, it is gorgeous with the with the uh, green diamonds in the middle. It's really beautiful. And if there's no interest, it's okay. I have some dinosaurs, Shelly. I have some dinosaurs. I have some dinosaur salt and pepper shakers. Yes, if it could talk. <laughs> okay, no interest on this beautiful set? Doesn't look like it. Yep, $50 start. All right, I'll take it away. 
this is something that I probably will post on um, on eBay. Okay. How about we do, we have about 15 minutes before Mr. Bisonlot starts. Let me see if I can put together a quick drop and stop. Slide it over and we'll look together. You're doing a hundred dollar drop and stop. Um, you guys want me to do a hundred dollar one or a fifty dollar one? So uh, let's let them decide. First three people to vote a hundred or fifty. D says 50. Mary says 100. No, D was bidding on the last lot after we'd already passed it. Oh, she did. Greg, hi. Greg says 100. Mary says 100. All right, let's do 100. Um, D's, you want that for $50? I'll, I'll ship it to you. Ooh, I think someone's knocking at my door. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Happy birthday, Jill. Entertain everybody. Should I sing happy birthday? No, why don't you read them? Um, why don't you read them a uh, Christmas story? Yeah, like Pat D's did the other night. If I had one handy, I would do that. I have some Jules Verne and some John Steinbeck close by. Okay, sorry. Oh, that was the postman. He was knocking on my door. He uh -huh. said he's been he said he's been texting me, but I haven't. Oh yeah, he's he did. He texted me. It says I'm here. Okay, ready? So we're gonna do a hundred dollar one, right? All right, explain the rules again for a new person. Okay. All right. So the rules are I'm gonna drop things on the table. When you think you have a hundred dollar value with what you see. Are we bidding on the red cloth? <laughs> Sorry, Greg. Oh, I'm so out of breath from running, getting the packages. I'm too old for this business. I'm telling you. Okay. 
if I could just sit here and sell and then have someone just do everything else, it would be it would be great. All right. So when you see a hundred dollars value on the table, right sold, and it's yours. Okay. And this is probably going to be. It's kind of like a double lot, but it's a, it's just called a drop and stuff. You're not bidding on it. Um, these are elastics. I don't know what you would do with crafts with all different color elastics, but um, this is denim wear. Um, it looks like it's got like glue and a patch. I don't really know. New and improved Western wear, easy color transfer, probably for like a t shirt. Or a sweater. Here is lace appliques. Okay, here we have glitzy shirts. Oops, glitzy shirts. They're like some sort of gold metallic, like feather type things. Here's another one, and another one, and another one that's made by Tulip. And here's another one. I guess it's stencils. Are those stencils? I don't know. Yes, they're stencils. Those are stencils. Um, here's a sequence kit. Here's some cowboy appliques. You can't really tell what they are, but um, this is some sort of $7.95. I don't know, did, did the Dazzler thing. Sizzling shirts. Here's another iron-on applique type thing. Um, let's see what else is in here. This one is Stamp It. Die box. I don't know what it is, you guys. Some sort of stamp it product. Die box something. What is this? Oh. So precious, um, not precious moments. What's this called? Things remembered. It's a things remembered like kids. It should probably go as a one off in case someone's having a baby. That's what I actually throw it in. All right. Here is more appliques. More appliques. Iron on transfer. That's marked nine dollars. Here is a pop dots. Don't know what that is. I'm looking, you guys. I'm digging. I'm digging. Stuff, you know, I haven't sorted through. It's kind of just random. This is Be Your Own Jewelry Designer. Another Be Your Own Jewelry Designer. Another one. Here's a Star Wars figure stamper. Pretty random, right? And here is, <laughs> is that a McDonald's toy? Anastasia McDonald's toy? That looks a little sinister. I know, doesn't it? Here's some more glitter design stuff. I'm just pulling out of this box. There's letters in here. There's personal paperwork. I mean, it's just an assortment, you guys. Here's a Fisker's border cutter in here. Here's a peanut jar full of jingle bells. Okay. More iron-on transfers, more iron-on transfers. What the heck is this? Here's soft pastels. Again, more iron on transfers. 
This is heat bond vinyl, no sew, iron on, flexible, sand side, blah, blah, blah. Here's a high school musical stamps. Here's some more lace and some more lace again. I have to tell you guys, I want to get on camera. So Mr. Buys a Lot's coming on in four minutes. I have to tell you guys what I used to do when I was a young girl, because I used to love to do crafts. I would take things like, this is just a good idea, just giving you an idea if you're going somewhere. I would take things like this, take things like that, and I would buy a really expensive bottle of champagne or just a bottle of champagne. I didn't mean to say really expensive, but I did buy like Dom Perignon or something nice. And I would take something like that and I would glue it on the bottle and then add other like little crystals and diamonds and embellishments and give that as a wedding gift along with my card with ribbons dangling from it and stuff. It was really pretty. So I used to make those all the time. You know, when you're young and all your friends all kind of get married at the same time, I used to go to weddings. Oh my gosh, Ricky and I would go to weddings. Like we'd have like weddings every weekend. But yeah, I used to take stuff like this and put them on the bottles and they'd be so pretty. Um, sanding blocks, great for sanding, poly shrink, crafts. Here's another Fiskars something, cutter or something. Um, here's some natural avocado cucumber soap, probably for soap making. I think I sold some soap making molds in one of the craft blocks. Here's some more lace. Okay, let's see here. Here we have some glitter, glitter looks, iron on. What's that one? And there's a cowboy one. There's a stars one. There's gecko ones. Paint blocks, don't know what that is. Some more of these shiny, glittery things. There's three more to make, I guess, embellished clothes. Each one of these are marked $5, you guys. That's pretty good. Hopefully they'll have a resale value, unless you're buying them for personal. I don't know what a splash tool is, but that's in there. And I don't know what a push mold is, but that's in there. Here's a American breast cancer uh, stapler. Um, here are a bunch of, I should probably do these as one-offs. Some personal papers in here too. I need to go through that. I need to make sure to go through that. There's a bunch of personal stuff next to me now. All right. Well, if nobody is interested Okay, in we have a stop. By who? Uh, Kay Jay Borgen? Brogan. Yep. All right. Okay. Here's another Star Wars stamper figurine. And trans iron on fabric transfer patterns and mini circle tabs. I don't know what those are. Here's some paper clips. Here's some ribbon and some more ribbon. And this is all stuff I need to go through. 
through some notepads. Here's a Crayola roll and stamp. And some more ribbon. And whatever else I can fit in your box, honey. I'll fill it up. KK Brogan. K, you have a gift certificate, don't you? I know you do. This is my lot number 11. K Brogan. Actually, that'll be number 12. The ice what? bucket was 11. Oh, yeah. I didn't write down the ice bucket. Ice bucket for 50 to Susie. And uh, the ice bucket went to D. Oh, it went to D. D's collections. Thank you. Okay, and this is number 12, and it's um, crafts. I know it to K. Brogan for 100. And I gotta check and see if she has a gift certificate. I'm almost positive that she does. All right, is Mr. Bizalot starting on time? Does anybody know? I think he's waiting for you to finish. Is he? All yeah, right. He's not live just yet. Okay. If you're watching Mr. Bizalot, everybody please go over and watch Mr. Bizalot. And I'm gonna take a little lunch break and um, start some of my shipping. And maybe I'll see you tonight. Kind of late night, because I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap this afternoon so that I can get up and have coffee and have energy to come back on. Now, I'll try to do some, I'll try, you know what I'll do is I'll do like one-offs and I'll do that, you know, like if I don't get a bid on it, Susan, <laughs> if I don't get a if I don't get a bid on it, then what I'll do is like, I think what I think what I'll do like with the shoes and the clothes and maybe even some of the plush, I'll put it out. If I don't get a bid on it, it will go in the lot price in the lot bundle. And then I'll just sell the whole lot as a reseller bundle. Like we did one night that was kind of, um, yes, please late night. Okay, Heather, I will. I'll come on late night. Let's, I'll, I'll do it like 930 ish or so. This is a conspiracy. Auctions before I'm up. <laughs> um, I talked to T while she was driving. <coughs> so she was closing on the property at 11 o'clock. So I'm sure she's at her new house right now. So I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her and we'll see if she wants to come on. Christine says a cardinal came out back this morning. That's awesome. I think that's my new favorite thing, you guys, cardinals. I love cardinals now. I love them because they're so up. I see them so up close and personal, you know. I just absolutely love them. I was looking at a um, a candle yesterday with a cardinal on it, and I was like, oh, my gosh, it's so awesome. I will send her best. I will. All right, you guys, go over to Mr. Buys a Lot and say, Donna said, boobies in the chat <laughs> and we'll see you all later on tonight thank you shriker so much for all your help i really wow. appreciate i really appreciate it and thank you everyone that bought anything from me and if you decide you do want a clothing lot you can always send to me an email or a text message shelly go over to mr buys a lot we'll be back on later on honey he just went live perfect okay bye